In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete a Google Sheets button once it's been clicked with Google Apps Script. So before we start, why might you want to do this? Seems like a bit of a silly process, doesn't it? Well, actually, it can be fairly useful. So one example I use it quite frequently on is when I'm creating a Google Sheets template that has bound scripts to it. And I want to make sure that the user runs the scripts first before I show them the rest of the sheet tabs and the menus that need the script to run. So I get them to click the button once and on the button it says, please click me twice, one to run authorize the scopes and the second time to open everything up for you to see and start working in the script. Another example is when you're collecting data from an external source and you only want the user to do it once. So they click on the button, clicks the data, the button uh, is destroyed and they have their data. Another example might be that the button is removed as a result of another action or another set of scripts. So you have, might have some scripts running that uh, if an event occurs you don't want that button to be, to be displayed so you want it destroyed. So how do we destroy our Google Sheets button with Google Apps Scripts? Okay, let's go in here. Well, the most obvious way is hit delete, but we're working in Google Apps Scripts. So first we need to go to our extensions and click on Apps Scripts and write our code. So it's a relatively simple process. First thing we're going to do is change the title of our project. Now, good practice here is to make the same uh, title as the one of your sheet. If it is a Google Sheet bound or document bound item, We'll keep it the same so it's easy to find. We'll hit rename. Cool. And our function is going to be called delete button because we are super creative. And we're going to need to put in a bunch of variables here to get started. So let's create a constant variable called SS for spreadsheet. I'm going to spreadsheet app. We'll get our spreadsheet and we'll get the active one. Get active spreadsheet. And close embraces there. That's our spreadsheet done. We'll go const and we'll call sheet. You've probably seen some of these variables if you've been digging around in the Google Docs already. So we want our sheet by name here. So get sheet by, there it is there. And what is the name of our Google Sheet? Let's go over here and we'll just double click it because could have put in a space or spelt it wrong. Hit Control C here. We'll go back and we'll hit Control V here. We know we've got the exact sheet name now, don't we? Cool. All right. So the next one we want is const and we are going to create the drawing. Now, why did we need sheet? So drawings are found within a sheet. If you have more than one drawing in there, it's going to iterate through a list of drawings uh, until you find the one you're looking for. So that's why we called sheet first. So we'll go drawings equals, and now we're going to call the sheet variable that we created here. And we're just going to use get drawings. Now this get drawings method is going to give us a list of all our drawings. So for example, if I had three or four drawings in here, it will give me a list of three or four drawings. And inside each individual drawing object is going to be a list of other methods that we can use. So for example, if I go drawings uh, zero, so it's going to be our zeroth image inside the boom button sheet, and I hit uh, full stop, and we've got things like get container, we've got the get height, and all these sort of actions here. What we're going to look for is the get on action. Now I'll delete this in a minute, but let me just explain get on action. Get on action is inside this is going to provide the name of the function if there is a function connected to the drawing over here. What do I mean by that? Let's go over here and create a image. So let's say we're doing my first example where this Google Sheet is a template and the user is going to make a copy. We want them to run auth uh, authorization of the script scopes attached to this Google Sheet first before we get them to see the rest of the document and the other helpful scripting menus that we're going to provide. So let's go to insert and create a drawing. And we'll go over here and go to shapes, create my favorite shape, which is a button. Go to this button here or make it a bit bigger because we are getting old and it's getting hard to see. And let's type in here, a click this button to run the authorization of the uh, script connected to this Google Sheet. Then we hit enter and complete. 
complete the auth process and then click this button again to prepare the sheet. That looks pretty explanatory. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So we'll go over here, 20. There we go, cool. Go to the center here. Make it up to, oh, that's glorious. Good, oh, let's hit save and close. Okay, so now we've got our button. We can click on the button here and up the top right, we have these three vertical ellipses. We can click on them and you can see assigned to script and you can see an empty space here. So if we go back to our script, we can see this get on action is going to give us what is in this text here. For us in this example, we want to put in this delete button. So I'm going to select it all. Don't, don't worry about the uh, curly braces. If you put them in, it won't run. But we're going to select this one, hit Control C. Go over here and hit Control V and hit OK. OK, so now this script, this image is bound to the script. And we're going to delete this and we're actually going to iterate through. So we're just going to imagine there's some other images through here. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And so what we will do is we'll go const button equals and we'll hit drawings for our array of drawings. And we're going to use the JavaScript find method here. And this is a, uh, I think it's ECMAScript 6 functional method that allows you to, to find something based on a set of rules. And this method takes in a function. So we'll use an arrow function here and we'll set our uh, iterable to drawing. And we'll do a little arrow here and then we'll go drawing. And we'll say get on action. That's going to get the name of the associated function that is attached to the image if there is one attached to it. If not, it'll be blank. And then we'll go equals. So say if this get on action function name is equal to, and we want our delete button. Hit control C and control V just so it's not a mistake. And we'll put a semicolon there. We'll hit enter. And then we'll go button. And to, all we need to do now is to remove this one, remove the button that has the function delete button. And this is also helpful if you have, if you're running this function off other images that you want deleted. Cool. We hit save. Nice. And let's check, make sure it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, cool. All right. Let's go back to our Google sheet. Okay. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. Let's click on our button. We've got our script running. It'll do auth. Uh, we'll ask for authorization first and let's hit continue and we will click on ourselves, go to advanced and go to our sheet. We'll select allow. Now, if you haven't done this before, I've got a tutorial in the written version of this video tutorial uh, about how to authorize and what, what's going on with authorization of scopes for a sheet. Okay, that's been done. And then, so we've done this process here, we've done this process here. Now we need to click this button again to prepare, prepare the sheet. And we haven't got anything going, but we will delete the button. So we'll click it. And now a button has been deleted. So that's it. So what you could do here is to, uh, before the button is deleted or after the button is deleted is to run some code, some other important code. Or you could modify this to call the delete button function from your main function. So you could say, for example, function, all right, func, and then run this in here. Run this in here as part of another function with all your other actions around it. Okay. So that's it for how to delete a Google Sheet button once it's clicked in Google Apps Scripts. Now I have a more detailed written tutorial that is in the description below and also goes in to how to delete an image. Images and drawings are slightly different, so please check that out. And there's also a link to a Google Sheets example that was really fun to make and has some really, well, for me at least, some really exciting and enjoyable Easter eggs in it. So please find that Google Sheets down the bottom Give it a click, make a copy, and run through the process to, to see some practical examples of how it's working, have a bit of fun doing it.
If you enjoyed the tutorial, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It really helps with outreach for this YouTube channel. Until next time.